I am MSK, aka Master Swag King, coming at you guys today with another video. And if you guys are returning viewers or new viewers, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you guys can get notified on whenever I upload a brand new video or go live. And in today's video, this is going to be the start of a series that I did on my previous main channel back in the day called Full Day of Going to the Movie Theater. So what is Full Day of Going to the Movie Theater? Basically, it's just me vlogging, uh, you know, talking to you guys like this. Then you guys are going to see me at the movie theater, talk to you guys before I go into the theater. And then you're going to see me obviously outside the theater when the movie's over. And then obviously back to my house to give you guys the spoiler free movie review of Obviously, this time around, it's Deadpool and Wolverine, but if I do this for any other movies, then it would be for X movie later on down the road. So, how do we feel about Deadpool and Wolverine? So, the MCU has really not been in a good spot for quite some time. If you really look back to when the MCU was, you know, back in their heyday, was around, what, basically 2008 to 2019, for people call it, their, you know, the MCU's big heyday, and even in, like, the first few the first three phases not all the movies are obviously good you know i think people really get that misunderstood when talking about the mcu's history was that every single movie was good in the previous three phases that's not true they had a, they had some bad movies there there were and you know some people were like well they've never put out a really really bad movie until recently it's like that's not true like obviously um i think the the incredible hulk movie 2008 one with edward norton wasn't that good um iron man 2 was definitely a step down compared to the first one but like just not bad it's just okay you know and everything else in the first phase i liked for the most part but those two would be like the ones that aren't as good as the other ones right phase two i mean you had like obviously thor the dark world is one of the worst ones and it still is people say well there's worse now but that doesn't change shit it's thor the dark world still a bad movie uh iron man 3 still bad to this day the movie's terrible um you know like I'll just bring up an example there's been bad mcu movies but they weren't as consistently bad as they are now and, you know, basically, because people forget this, Far From Home ends Phase 3, not Endgame. That's a very common misconception. Far From Home, Spider-Man, Far From Home. That, remember, remember that garbage Spider-Man movie? The second one of Tom Holland's trilogy? That ends Phase 3. So basically, they have not put out arguably a good movie for a while. And it's all subjective anyway. If you like these movies, I don't care. I'm just giving you my opinion, obviously. So, yeah, for me, after Endgame, Far From Home. Dog shit. That, that probably might be one of the worst things. That movie's so bad. It has, like... And, and when I mean it's bad, like, I understand. Bad movies can have, like, a few good scenes here and there. I like, I like some r bad movies that obviously have some great scenes in there. But people gotta under understand and factor this in. Like, bad movies can have good scenes in them. That That's, like... You know, but that shouldn't be, you know, explained constantly. It's, like, no shit. Like, even Catwoman has, like, a, a good scene or a good soundtrack here and there. You know what I mean? Like, not everything is bad, but for the most part, 98% of it's bad. And that would be a bad movie overall, right? If you liked only, like, let's say if you like two things about a movie, like a good piece, a, a good scene, or, or some dialogue, or a, a scene where they're playing, like, some music or whatever, you know, like, obviously, you know, that would be, like, you know, not a good thing. So, for, in my own personal opinion, when it comes to, like, the MCU after, like, Far From Home, if you're looking at it from that lens, Far From Home, not good uh you know black widow was like not that good or rememberable really uh shang chi was okay eternals was really bad like eternals is d d terrible obviously and then you also had what was after that spider-man no way home that was good you had guardians 3 i didn't see guardians 3 guardians 3 and black Panther 2 are the only ones i haven't seen i i've seen thor the thor love and thunder that was really that that fucking dog shit um, MN3 is really bad. MN3 is awful. Uh, what else came out? Doctor Strange 2, that was not that good. 
you know, like TV shows. I think the, the only one that I liked was Falcon and Winter Soldier. I, I know a lot of people don't like that one. It has bad stuff in there. I, I, I fully agree with all the bad criticism, but I think the good of the show is still better than any of the other Disney Plus MCU shows. I did not like WandaVision. I thought it was pretty bad. There's a few, one episode here and there. Like these shows always have like that one episode that is like okay or good. But outside of that, it's like most episodes are really bad. WandaVision, I didn't like it that much or at all. Uh, Falcon Winter Soldier is my favorite one, obviously. Loki season one, dog shit. Uh, what if season one, few good episodes here and there. Really, honestly, that show has probably the best episodes, but overall the episodes are not as good as the best ones, which I think are episodes three and four, the Detective Mystery one, and the uh, Doctor Strange episode. After that, you had, I think it's Hawkeye after that. Hawkeye was bad. Uh, Miss Marvel, like, not, no, Moon Knight was for Miss Marvel. Moon Knight, not good at all. Uh, except for like that one episode. Uh, Miss Marvel, not good. It started out okay, but then it just went off the deep end of shit. Uh, she Hulk is where I tapped out. And I was like, this is so bad. I'm not just not watching this anymore. So yeah, the MCU, phase four, phase five has, has been pretty bad. I know they're trying to like reroute this shit now. Uh, I, I hope they, they did it with the Daredevil show. Hopefully. That's going to be good because, you know, Kevin Feige came in and axed it and then told him to redo it, basically, because all the TV shows were having some really, really massive problems there. So that's good, in my opinion. But they also made a lot of really bad ideas for TV shows that are still coming out. You know, like Wonder Man, like who's going to really want that shit? Like Agatha Harkness, like who really wants that? That's actually coming out very soon. Um, Ironheart, I think it's been put on a back burner because maybe, maybe like test screenings have been like really, really bad, obviously. So, yeah, I I don't know. You know, when it comes to this stuff, right? It's it's one of these things where they didn't have to get to this point where people just doubt them at every turn now. They 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 could have still been as good as they were back in their heyday. It's just ego, greed, not understanding different markets. They they don't understand the TV market at all. They literally thought they could do TV without showrunners. Like, who the fuck thought that shit? Like, what a bunch of idiots, man. Who who makes these decisions? I'll never know. I, I really won't know. But that's just my opinion. Um, you know, the shows really haven't, the shows haven't been really good at all. You know, I, I and people liked X-Men 97. I haven't seen it yet. I, I'm going to be doing a project for all the, I'm going to do a project for that. I'm going to review all the original X-Men animated series seasons before I get to that one. But people said that one's good. So the only thing people have said is good is Guardians 3, Spider-Man No Way Home, and, and, and X-Men 97. Like, bro, that's like three things out of like 20. That's awful. That's terrible. That's really bad. They basically got into the DC route of like people just not supporting the movies you know like the marvels had the lowest grossing p- uh, movie for the mcu just like last year like in december like that's really bad if you understand it's, it's bad like you can't deny it it's, it's awful um deadpool wolverine's the only mcu movie uh coming out uh this year and obviously that's a good thing because you know i think they need to kind of scale back i don't think you need four three movies i think two movies and a tv show is perfectly fine honestly they really went with like the mcu is so big and the more mcu the better to the point now where we're at this now and i know people talk about superhero fatigue and all that stuff but when it comes to that kind of thing you will get fatigued of seeing the mcu constantly because it's not a special anymore people to understand when something is constantly in front of you you are not going to treat it the same way you did before as if when it's a special thing and the content's not good but the content not good is this, is, is a completely secondary thing too much of it there's no way you can make that much of something and make it good it's just not possible because you you won't have the same people attentive to each project in the same way there is super there is superhero movie fatigue it's just not something people are able to accept because they're, they're 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 just not thinking about it clear enough you know fatigue means tired of this and yes you could be just tired of bad movies but yes being tired of bad movies is almost synonymous with their products coming out at a rate there's no way that could be good, right? They can't make a good product if you're producing like eight of these projects. You know what I mean? It's just not gonna, not gonna be a thing, obviously. So yeah, uh, I do have a superhero movie fatigue video coming out for you guys very soon, actually. Um, I'm, I'm just looking at the time over here for a little bit because I, I gotta make sure I'm on time when it comes to this stuff. So yeah, uh, the next portion of this vlog, or I say part, should I say part? Y'all yeah, say part, the portion sounds kind of gay. The next part of this vlog, you will see me at the movie theater, outside of my movie theater, talking to you guys before I go in 
you know, getting you guys in that like football game, NBA you know, basketball game kind of feel of like, yeah, let's go, let's get it. It's finally here. It's the, the only MCU movie that's gonna be, um, you know, released this year. So let's hope it's a banger. Uh, will it make a billion dollars? Arguably, probably, maybe. Uh, if it doesn't, that's it's not gonna be profitable, which is gonna be pretty bad. But I think it'll make a billion dollars. I'll say this: lowest nine hundred million dollars. After that, highest billion dollars. But you know, despicable, despicable me four made a billion. I think it's close to make a billion dollars. So, and people need five factors new. Just because a movie doesn't make a billion dollars doesn't mean it's like obviously not good quality of a movie. It just means based off its budget and marketing, it might be considered a failure. That's what I mean. You know, because a movie doesn't have to make a billion dollars to be good. But that's a completely separate thing from each other, obviously. So yeah, I'll do my spoiler-free uh, movie reviews. Probably a part of these, actually. I, I think it's just better than just randomly firing up a 10-minute video. Than just I would just do it in these much more easier. So yeah, that's what these are going to go from now on. Start, movie theater, out of theater, reaction, and spoiler-free uh, movie review. So yeah, see you guys in the next part of this full day of going to the movie theaters episode one made it to my movie theater to watch deadpool and wolverine uh after this part when i get done watching the movie i'm gonna give you guys my quick out of the theater uh reaction and then i'm gonna do the uh, spoiler free part at the end of the vlog that way i don't have to like upload two separate videos that basically accomplish the same thing i know people like doing those quick out of theater reactions um i generally don't it's not that kind of quality of content I want to put out just from your phone, like just 40 seconds. I don't know. I don't like that too much. Usually you have to be in this area when I do this kind of thing because the wind's not, the wind's like worse if you're like on the outskirts. But usually since there's like build, a building part right here, it's not as bad, honestly. So yeah, I'll walk in, take it, probably get like a, a mixed icy. I'm not really that hungry because we had Panda Express when we, you know, got back. Because when I'm doing this vlog, we had just got back from the Big Man Comics 2024 event, so I just already had Panda Express. I'm not hungry. Popcorn. I usually get chili cheese nachos. Those are pretty good here, actually. Usually get like maybe 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 a Snickers ice cream bar. Those are pretty fire. But yeah, gonna you know go in the theater, have some fun, watch this, and yeah, hopefully it's gonna be a good movie. It's a, one of the most anticipated movies of the year, and hopefully it's good. It's really all you can ask for, honestly. The MCU. Hopefully they start putting out good movies at this point right here. So see you guys in the next part of the vlog. Hmm. Or maybe I might hit on some hot ladies. You never know. All right. See you guys in the next part. So I just got out of my movie theater watching Deadpool and Wolverine. It's going to be my quick out of the theater uh, reaction. Overall, really fun movie. Enjoyable. Funny. Pacing was the area that it needed to be worked on. I uh, wasn't the hugest fan of the, the main villain, honestly. But overall, I thought Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman did a really good job of, you know, having this weird kind of <laughs> buddy cop relationship. It was pretty cool for the most part. Uh, the end credit scene is not really worth it unless you've watched the movie all the way through. It's kind of like basically just an inside joke for an end credit scene. The end credit scene has like, no actual bearing on other MCU movies, so in credit scenes, mostly a joke that they do in the movie, which is kind of just funny. The cameos are awesome, and the uh, cameos extend into something that I know you guys will like, actually. So, yeah, that's my uh, quick out of the theater reactions for uh, Deadpool Wolverine. Uh, should you go watch this in theaters? Yes, a super, super fun, enjoyable movie. Had a blast, issues here and there. Uh, I'll talk about those. We have our open spoiler discussion. So uh, in the next part of the vlog, I'm going to give you guys my spoiler-free movie review on Deadpool and Wolverine. See you guys in the next part. I just got back home from the movie theater after watching Deadpool and Wolverine. In the previous part of the vlog, I did my quick out-of-the-theater reaction for Deadpool and Wolverine. And now in this part of the vlog, to end the vlog, I will be giving you guys my Deadpool and Wolverine spoiler-free movie review. So... Did this movie stack up to the expectations and hype that the fans had for this film? This is the 34th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, let's begin here. 
If you guys have already watched the previous Deadpool movies, you're probably going to find this movie pretty enjoyable. As you guys know, I've only watched Deadpool 2. I never saw the first Deadpool movie. And that I thought Deadpool 2 was just rather okay. Story was really lacking there. But as you know, as I said before, the comedy and a lot of other really great elements in the movie made more than up for that lack of story in that specific movie. Now keep in mind, with this movie being the only film to come out from the MCU in 2024, there's going to be also a lot of expectations on it because the MCU has not been in a good spot since 2019, not only just financially, but you know, a lot of the actual quality of movies and TV shows have not been that good. Like I highlighted in the beginning part of the vlog, we've only had like two or three good overall quality projects in my own personal opinion to come out of the mcu and that is going to be a subjective thing for a lot of people so let's start here with this movie okay so let's go with what i liked and later on go with what i didn't like and i want to let's let people know this for most part when it comes to like movie reviews tv reviews anime reviews comic book reviews i'm just going to be going mostly off the cuff for the most part it's going to be structured obviously but i want to kind of keep it in the vein of as you're like just chilling with your boys your homies and just like you know talking with the boys you know so let's start it here okay De uh ryan reynolds and hugh jackman who both portray deadpool and wolverine do a fantastic job in the movie if you are accustomed to those versions of the characters that you got in previous you know fox x movies they keep that same performance and then some in this movie actually the actual fight scenes were were really good for the most part uh there's shaky cam a big battle scene later on in the movie toward the uh beginning of the third act actually you, you can literally tell it's shaky cam but other than that most of the Fight choreography was really good. Uh, this movie basically is the other Deadpool movies as well. There's swear words. There's gratuitous blood. There is bones popping out, gruesome deaths. All that stuff you guys really, really liked in the previous Deadpool movies are here. There is great dialogue. The jokes blend all for the most part. There's some that I obviously didn't laugh at, but that's, you know, humor is a subjective thing anyway, okay? So then I know you guys went into Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and hoping you were going to get some really cool cameo appearances. Uh, this movie actually has them and did them way better in my own personal opinion and made them impact to the story in a funny and also good way as well. So obviously I'm not going to spoil what the cameos are, but I know you guys will really, really enjoy them. And there was one that happened in there that is going to be other people's favorites, but you know, not mine. I liked another one of the cameos in the movie and then it extended into something else with these cameos as well. These cameos were not just like, oh, that person I remember, you know? It was also, they were not just there for, you know, eye candy or fan service. They actually helped with the story in a specific way, honestly. And one of them was a nice tribute for someone that kind of got fucked over at a current moment in time when this person thought they were going to get a movie and that it didn't end up happening. And, you know, it kind of panned out the way I thought with what that person would really do with that character. But I'll go into that later on when we have our open spoiler discussion for Deadpool Wolverine, which will be this Sunday, actually, on the Iron Man podcast. Okay, so uh, I would also say that some of the other excess characters people liked from the previous Deadpool movie don't really, like, show up here that much. They show up, but they're not really, like, there. They're just kind of whatever. Most of the movie is based around Wolverine and Deadpool's dynamic, and the reason, because this is kind of something that led to it in the, in the trailers and I talked about on the Iron Man podcast, is like, what's the reason why this Wolverine's universe would have like failed and everything it's revealed and it's not deeply emotional. I would say it, it wasn't in the way that I thought it was going to be, but it, it, I thought it was overall pretty good for what you can do when it comes to like the multiverse. Now the, the, the stuff that I didn't like. Okay. So let's start here. Uh, the villains, I don't know what is with the MCU. The villains are, are just like, man, the main villains, cause there's two of them are really just not that good for the most part. Uh, I felt that, I mean, one of them had better acting than the other. One, one had a, a different dynamic, but it was just meh, honestly. Like, the villains were just, like, bad, you know? Like, there was some good stuff. There were in between, like, some scenes here and there, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't give a fuck about the villains. I don't know what is with the Marvel Universe, this one, and the villains haven't been that good. The last good villain I remember that they did was, um, oh, technically it's from the, another Sam Raimi universe. Uh, it was when they did uh, Green Goblin, uh, William Defoe, and No Way Home. That was the last good villain they actually had. 
uh, you know, Doc Ock until they did a thing to him in that movie, obviously. Um, but yeah, that'd be my, my, my biggest problem is the villains overall. The actual plot and story is something you kind of seen before in the other previous Deadpool movie. So I'm not gonna really give that away. This kind of feels more like a 20th century X-Men Fox universe movie in the MCU than it feels like an MCU movie. Like this to me didn't feel like an MCU movie. And people are like, what do you mean by that? Like, the way you typically view an MCU movie, this one really wasn't that. I mean, it really did bring out that rated R rating in many scenes, and I think the movie just benefited from it overall. Like, will they be doing this style of movie, uh, you know, moving forward with certain characters? I think that's a very good thing, but I think that you wouldn't want to do this for every character because not every character can have that kind of style and feel and not every character would need certain things that this character would be. But, you know, I would love to see, you know, Deadpool and Wolverine continue in the MCU, but that's going to be really hard given how this movie's structured and you guys are going to have to see it to understand what I'm going to say. Um, so then after that, I, I feel like there was a few long dragged out fight scenes um, that went a little too long, specifically the one that happens in the third act, honestly, you know, there's one that just, like, it, it's funny and it's cool, but it just went on for on and on. But but, but there was a joke that need, needed to land, and I was like, God, it could have just went to the, you know, next portion of the movie. Because if, if you're factoring what they're doing in that fight scene, then the villain could have already mostly pretty much won. But, you know, they're in a time constraint with how fast things actually go. So, yeah, that is my uh, spoiler-free movie review for Deadpool and Wolverine, the 34th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So thank you guys for checking out this video. If you guys are returning viewers or new viewers, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not already. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below. Also, make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you guys can get notified on whenever I upload a brand new video or go live. I'm MSK, aka Master Swag King, and I'm signing out, guys. See you guys later. Deuces. Peace.